Okay. <coughs> this is the fan I got. Um, it doesn't quite fit in here, so I think I'm going to cut this to length and put it in the little lathe and, and just turn it out just a little bit. I could grind this lip off, but I think it'd be better if I put Palma gasket in there um, and then step, stuff it in. This lip will kind of help hold that, I'm thinking. I'm not even sure if this is going to work, but no one's answered me, so I don't know. But this is what I got so far. I got this reducer fitting here. This is, uh, I think, from the vacuum cleaner section at Home Depot. Oh, I better not say Home Depot. I got in trouble for putting the music on the video. Uh, I didn't realize that. Anyways, this fan will go up here. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> I can, this is going to be obviously to the engine. If I shut that off and turn this valve on, shut that valve off going to the bottom of the filter, it should clean out. Uh, I'll run it to get all the heavy, dirty stuff out. It's got to go into the nice filter. Another thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to do with that. Um, I was figuring... Like my water filters, we have to backwash them. The water will eventually find the least path to resistance. So I was wondering um, if this filter after a while is going to, if it gets wasted or not, so what I'm thinking of doing, I'm just trying to get something open here, can't do it with one hand, got these at Home Depot, <clears throat> it's in the electrical section, the wire will go through there, um, so I'm going to put a flange right there that's gonna go like that I'm gonna put one on the bottom <clears throat> actually I got like two inch nipples to make it longer okay then I'm gonna stick a rod down through there and then do one of the nipples I'll put a grease fitting and what that's gonna do <coughs> hopefully I'll have a t-handle with some kind of fork or fingers on it and then every once in a while you can lift it up and spin it a little bit and loosen up all the filter media so hopefully it'll all get used up before it gets bad rather than just some of it I don't know if that'll work or not but I'm gonna try it and this rubber seal should stop the suction uh, so I don't have a leak there I don't know again that's gonna be uh, you know, I think if I if I use that, I'll have to leave it loose enough to pull the lever up and down. But I'm thinking if I fill it with grease, um, Josh had told me how to make the <clears throat> shaker with silicone. So if Josh is watching this, Josh, let me know if you think I should use silicone or grease in that or what you're thinking, if that'll work or not, if you don't mind. Um, I can't I can't believe it's going to hurt anything, you know, if I uh, just pull it up and down once in a while and loosen up those wood chips and just kind of stir them up a little bit so the fuel has to go through different areas all the time or if it starts to get plugged up it might loosen it up, don't know. Never used one of these before, so I don't know if you see my last video. <clears throat> this tank, this was a water tank, it's the other half, and that's the filter. If you undo the union, that filter will come right out of there. And then I've got a rubber coupling up there, only because I didn't have any more unions. And then uh, that's for the thing, the uh, engine.
and I'm not sure if this is going to get too hot. I don't know what the temperature is going to be on this cyclone, but I've got some uh, some diamond plate over here. I can make a, a heat shield to go around here, probably go all the way up there. The other thing I was thinking of doing for my fins is take, take some uh, really thin sheet metal, okay, and I'll probably only do this half because that's two going down. And then another two over here, just take a hole saw, drill two holes in a bunch of uh, fins, maybe like five or six of them. And then after I get the holes drilled, just split it in half, cut it in half with the plasma cutter, and then I can tack them back together around the pipe. And you're going to want to want to weld all the way around <clears throat> um, to try to, to uh, spurt more heat. Don't know. That's just another idea I was thinking of doing. Okay, I'll uh, I'll put this all together and see if that fan's gonna work. Thanks for the idea, Josh, with the the uh, <clears throat> charger for the kids' little ATVs. I just I save all that shit. I got a pile of it, and I happen to find one, and the fan works. This is the fans at 3 amp. This is, uh, I think, uh, 12 volt, 1.2 amps, but it ran the fan fine when I just tried it. Okay. Thanks, guys. Let me know what you think. Okay, so I just want to show you. This is my fan blower. It's a 4 inch, and uh, the bushing I have to go down the 2 inch isn't your standard PVC. I think I got it out of the vacuum clean section. So this was a little tight. Um, so I just took it in the lathe and now it'll fit in nice nice and snug. And uh, what I'll do, I don't want it too loose, but what I'll do is uh, silicone it and then uh, probably just silicone will be fine, but you could always put a couple of screws in. And if you don't have a lathe, you don't really need a lathe to do this. I just happen to have one. Uh, you can take a grinder or anything and just get it close, probably, and silicone it. Okay, well, I'm going to do the other side and then put it back together. I'll show you those fittings again. these here. That's what I found to go from three to two. So that'll go here and it will fit two inch PVC. So. Okay, worked on a couple things tonight. My shaker. I'm gonna weld this fancy handle I got. I ran out of uh, argon for my welder. I'm going to weld that on the nut. Put another nut in front of it so it'll lock. Um, it'll lock in place and then shake because this is temporary because hopefully I'm going to have it <coughs> uh, an electric solenoid run it, hopefully. I don't know if you can see it. <coughs> Inside I put a nut on the end of the rod with a eye bolt in case I have to adjust the height of the bowl I won't have to rework everything I can uh, I've got a, one of those clevises that open up with a nut <coughs> not sure what you call them but it'll unscrew and I can take it right off the bowl then I can adjust the eye bolt up or down when I adjust the chains, if I have to. Right now I've got them just about the bottom of the bowl to the to the uh, burning tube. Well, the, yeah, whatever you call it. Um, <clears throat> about an inch and three quarters down, but I, you know you can adjust it 
either way without redoing stuff. And that really shakes her up good. So, and now I have to get some more silicone. And I've greased the rod. And I'm going to fill that up with silicone. And then I'll put a plug in that hole. And I also put a hole through this rod here. And that's going to stop the rod from pushing forward too far forward or just kind of keep it in place so it'll be easier on that silicone. <clears throat> this is all set. I think I showed you that. Uh, blowers on. Again, I'm going to clean it all up. Probably paint the PVC. This is what I'm doing for... I'm figuring the sawdust inside, if it settles down, you get tar, it gets wet, settles... The, the gas is going to have a hard time flowing through it or a more difficult time than when you first put it in fresh. So this is what I got going on here. This is a, uh, <clears throat> that's a, a nut for wire in the electrical department, a coupling, a nipple, another nipple, coupling, and another one just so we can make sure we don't have any leaks. And this rod slides through really nice. It's not going to leak. And you can tighten up those yeah, like a packing nut. So if it leaks or if it's too tight, you can loosen them up. Also, I'm going to drill a hole through this nipple. Okay. And I'm going to put a grease fitting in there so it'll keep that rod really uh, smooth. You know, it won't, won't seize up on you. And it, it really shouldn't leak. It's nice and tight, them rubbers. So I need a longer rod. And then uh, I'm going to make a gasket for the bottom of this flange. And that's going to sit on top of the barrel here. So it'll be in there, like inside. Um, I'm going to flip this around. So the shorter, the shorter uh, nipple and coupling is is in the tank so it's not way down into the sawdust. Actually I might have to do something a little different about that. We'll see how it works. Um, maybe get away from that coupling and get this seal up in the bottom of this. That'll give me that much more room I can clean. That's what I'll do. So <clears throat> at the bottom of this rod <clears throat> I'm gonna make some kind of uh, I'm gonna make something here with just something to lift the sawdust up and fluff it all up again so it's not settled. And I think that's going to help out a lot. I don't know what the sawdust looks like after you run one of these. I'm just using uh, my imagination. I'm sure it's going to settle. Um, and this has got to gotta help it. It's got to. So, that's that. It's all plumbed in. Almost ready to rock and roll. Okay. Bye-bye. Camera will not shut off.